guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Now today we're featuring yet another Golf R. This one, you might not be able to see from this angle actually, is an estate, one of very few which I've featured on the channel. Now this car is running at hybrid turbo and essentially a stage three package. And with my car going stage three soon, I had to kind of remind myself what they are like. This is a slightly different setup to what my car will be, um, but I'll get the owner, Lloyd, to uh, basically run us around it before we go out for some fun. But it is nice to see another Golf R estate on the channel. It's been a while, but it hasn't really been a while since there's been a Golf R on the channel. But either way, let me introduce you to the owner. We'll have a walk around it. He'll explain the setup which is running on this car at the moment, and then we'll go out for a little spin. Okay, so this is Lloyd. Buddy, thank you so much for coming on the channel today. Um, Golf R Estate. Um, now, before we get into the kind of modifications which you've done to the car, there is a bit of a history with you and Golf R. So you had a, a well, I wouldn't say much of a history, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, you've had a, a couple before, I believe, a hatch specifically. Yeah. Um, so that was, was that manual as well? Did yeah, you say so something? the manual uh, stage one uh, Mark 7 mm -hmm. Golf R. Um, again, like I said, the hatch. Um, the reason why I went to the estate is because my daughter came along mm. um, and in the boot, as you know, the, the, the four-wheel drive, the Haldex system takes up quite a bit of the space. Yeah. So one pram in there and it was kind of getting full. Um, so I kind of use it as an, an excuse to, to get a more <laughs> modern car and go for the digital dash and, and yeah, go for DSG as well. So, yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, so I've got a little bit of a history with the Golf R. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So this is kind of like the, the ultimate daily then. So you've done some, some yeah, quite yeah. substantial so, bits to it. Yeah. Um, to make it your own. It looks really smart as well. Like it's a really cleanly modified car. Thanks. Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's not shouty, but you see it in, like I said, your camera, like those who know will know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, a bit special. So we've got the bonnet open. Yep. Um, like I said in the intro, running quite a unique stage three package, really. Um, a Litco turbo, I yep. believe. Litco L380X, yeah. Yep. And so what sort of power are we looking at from that? Uh, so on the dyno uh, down at Devil Developments, it made 437 brake. Mm -hmm. So we're all friends on YouTube, I know that. So <laughs> let's call that 440 yeah. brake. <laughs> yep. uh, and 410 feet pounds of torque. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and it. Um, it goes really well. Yeah. It goes really well. So, uh, which you'll see when we go out. Definitely, definitely. Um, so yeah, so I've experienced a few um, estates before. Obviously, yeah. a little bit heavier than the standard hatch for yeah. obvious reasons. Um, but I can't say I really remember what it was like. I think the ones which I've experienced are kind of stage one and stage two. Mm -hmm. um, so yours obviously has the nudge on that. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, going stage three as well. There's a quite a, a few other little bits you need to do. Yeah. Um, so I see the R600. You've got a front mount intercooler as well. Yeah, got the AirTech Gen two intercooler mm -hmm. with the bigger boost pipes. Uh, yeah. So the yeah, the AirTek Gen 2, uh, the R600 intake with the cotton filter uh, into the MST um, turbo inlet pipe and turbo elbow because it's slightly bigger than the racing line ones. Mm -hmm. um, and when I bought the R600 second hand, it didn't actually come with the tip anyway. So yeah. fortunately I had that. Um, then we've got the four inch track slag decap um into the standard exhaust then from the yeah. cap back or from the decap back even mm -hmm. um we've got the catch can from uh custom bag parts mm -hmm. with the uh washer bottle relocation kit as well um and yeah i think i think that's, I think it. that's oh, it and there's the the litco um high pressure fuel pump yeah uh, as well as that yeah brilliant well it, like i said you're off camera as well it's a really clean build really I mean, it's it's not shouty, but it's no, no. It was, I was going for like the sort of ultimate daily sort of vibe. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't going for um, sort of I wasn't going for the hearse look either. <laughs> well, it might look like that. Um, it was just black, and the roof rails went black, and then the yeah. wing mirrors went black, uh, the grill went black. Um, again, I'm I wasn't going for that vibe, but um, it's just turned out that way, really. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, thanks. it looks really smart, really, really smart. Now we're going to go around to the brakes because I definitely need to show the people those. Now that is something which. Yeah, uh, quite new to you. I think you've only just had them done, but yep. they are amazing. I mean, look at those. Uh, the calipers are Audi RS3 8V eight pot calipers mm -hmm. with progressive pistons from OEM uh, on the Rayland uh, two piece J hook discs. Uh, I've got Frodo DS2500s, whatever yeah, yeah. the digits are, uh, as the pads. Um, and then recently then, um, I had the wheels. They were literally delivered and fitted yesterday. <laughs> yeah, um, they were. They, uh, they require a, a space on the front still, uh, just to clear the brakes. Mm -hmm. um, the tires, 
So before anyone comments uh, in the YouTube comments, <laughs> yep. I know they are Nankang tires and I'm running 400 and something brake. Um, the, those are the tires that came on these wheels and they've got good tread. So I'm gonna run these into the ground before yep. sticking on some uh, PS4Ss mm. or a Goodyear Eagle F1s or something a bit more, um, bit more grippy yeah, yeah yeah i mean they were literally delivered yesterday so yeah yeah and <laughs> they are brand new they look awesome as well they're always finishing like a, a shadow chrome yeah yeah kind of effect it's so really, they were really they cool. were refurbed by the guy bought them off uh, in uh, shadow chrome so um slightly different to the other ones out there yeah and goes really well with the black and uh, against the red caliper definitely right? yeah i mean yeah like you said there is a space at which you need because it is pretty pretty snug in there but i mean we'll get another shot of this because it's really clean really clean I'm a, I'm a big fan of the estate, you know? Yeah. Because you don't see the many of them around. Everyone kind of just kind of attracts to the hatch. Yep. Um, but they do look cool. Yeah. Like a, a mini RS6. That, that's nice. the goal. The, the, my dream attainable car is an Audi RS6. Mm. And for me, this is the... Uh, the poor man's version, I guess. Really. <laughs> the, the nearest uh, thing. The nearest thing I could get uh, yeah. to an RS6 within my budget for now. Um, so yeah, I went for this four wheel drive, 400 brake um, DSG mm. with all the room in the boot for my daughter yeah. and all the things that she comes with as well. Um, so yeah, her car seat's in the back. She often travels in the car with me yeah. when I'm dropping off a nursery and things like that. Um, in race mode? Uh, always in race mode, yeah. <laughs> she loves it. She loves the, uh, the DSG fart as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's the ultimate daily for me. Yeah. Um, I've got another car, as, which is my project, which is my toy, my Clio, mm -hmm. as you know. Um, so this was, for me, it has to be sort of reliable. Um, and this is my, my everyday car, really. Yeah, yeah, very true. Awesome. Well, um, that's pretty much it, I think. In terms of the major stuff on the car, I think what we'll do without any further hesitation, we'll hop in, get the GoPro set up and go for a nice drive. Cool, let's do it. It's not like, even though you've got a four inch downpipe, it's not like overly loud, is it as well? No, I, th I didn't want something to be too loud. Obviously, I, like I said I had my daughter in the car sometimes with me. Yeah. Um, so it's, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like, it's like, a, this isn't a bad thing. It's almost like it's a stock map, but it, cause it drives like what you'd expect one to drive like, just with yeah. that extra oomph. Yeah. It's really linear, it's really like a nice delivery. That, there's yeah, no that's, sort of, that's what I'm, yeah, that's there's what I'm no low say. down torque or, I say there's no low down torque, that's not what I mean. There's no low down um, uh, bucket full of torque, like a, a, yeah. a stage one, some stage ones are. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's quite progressive and quite linear and yeah, yeah like I said, it's how you'd kind of expect it to be delivered really. Yeah, it's just a very drivable stage three, really. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, what you went for in terms of a setup is like a, a very safe and, like I said, drivable kind of setup, really. Yeah. I mean, there are loads of turbos you can opt for. Um, but I mean, it's enough, isn't it? Yeah, it's I think so. Enough. I think for sort of every day, I mean, even with a stock of 300 brake, I mean, how often can you use 300 <laughs> brake on, on roads with yeah. other traffic on the road? True. So I think 400, <laughs> The reason why I went for the turbo was more of a, it was for reliability. Mm. Um, I wanted something reliable. I know that um, the IS38 turbo is a bit of a lottery. Um, I don't think any sort of year turbo is safe either. Mm. Um, so I just wanted something reliable because I intend to keep this car for a while. So yeah. it was more of a um, preventative measure really with the, mm. with the turbo. Um, yeah. And obviously the extra sort of 140 brake horsepower was, um, was a nice thing to have as well. Definitely. So you went from stock to stage three, or ah uh, yeah. Oh yeah. wow! I didn't go stage one yeah. um, or anything like that. I I fitted all the hardware, so mm. I had the um, well the intake and the intercooler, 
fitted yeah. um, and some other bits and pieces and then I took it to uh, Devil Developments and Ben Litko. That's down um, my way. Yeah, they, uh, they fitted um, the, the intercooler, they, uh, they fitted the, sorry, the, um, they fitted the turbo, mm -hmm. they fitted the um, high pressure fuel pump and they fitted the downpipe as well. Yeah. Um, and they did some other bits as well, like spark plugs. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they did all the work. So I went from yeah, stage mm -hmm. one to stage, I don't know if it's stage three technically, you're probably going to get people in the comments saying it's not stage three. <laughs> um, it's kind of like a stage 2.5 really. Yeah, yeah, how do um, you want to put it really? You can get caught up with all the stages and yeah, like, yeah. Like, different yeah. bits and bobs. Levels of and, tune. Yeah. The main thing is that it drives well and yeah. it does, to yeah. be fair. Like, like we mentioned when we were doing the walk around, it's a really nice looking car. Like the wheels, these are, wheels are actually ones which I did consider for my Golf R. Okay. For the, for the build I'm doing on that. I didn't go for them in the end because I went for some others, but I think they suit this car really, really well. Thanks. I, I like that kind of chrome, it, well it's not chrome, but it's like a subtle chrome. Yeah, <laughs> kind of, like a shadow but, chrome. Yeah, shadow chrome, that's the one, yeah. It's a really well set up car, those brakes as well, I might have to nick them off you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the reason why I went for these wheels, um, the 19s, um, I had Team Dynamic 18s before yep. with uh, ADO8 DAR tyres on and um, they were brilliant. Um, but after sort of a, a spirited drive and with the heat and when the brakes calipers were swelling, sort of, they were starting to catch the um, the, not so much the face of the wheels, not the spokes, but the barrel and where the um, and where the wheel weights were, and they started to get witness marks on the on the calipers. So I thought I need slightly bigger wheels. Yeah, that's when you know you got big brakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you got big big wheels. Yeah. Yeah, he's so linear. <laughs> With how they deliver the power, you can have so much fun and still within the speed limit just because yeah. of like how it kind of delivers the power. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, these things on launch are like ridiculous. Yeah. Even in stock form. I remember yeah. my one well, it was yeah, nuts. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely nuts. Oh, that from second is mental. <laughs> Brakes as well. <laughs> they definitely stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's the brakes. <laughs> There's the brakes. <laughs> There's the windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> it's still quite subtle though, because you don't have like a like like we mentioned, like a, a massively loud and poppy exhaust as well. No, like no, no. It's just a very quick daily car. <laughs> yeah. That was the goal really. I wanted yeah. something reliable um, and just a quick good all-rounder really yeah, um, that's exactly that yeah and I think that's where for me the mark 7 hatch I had um, wasn't quite as good as it could have been because mm. of the lack of boot space <laughs> yeah go on buddy go on cyclist go on you can do it go on mate go on mate <laughs> <laughs> These kind of roads, I mean, for the estate, it's almost unfamiliar territory, I suppose, because it's like a, a motorway weapon, isn't it? Yeah. But it still handles it really well. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Handling mods, have you done any of them? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I've got uh, the VWR uh, Lauren Springs mm -hmm. um, and the White Line uh, rear anti roll bar uh -huh. um, yeah. with the drop links on the back. And I think for me, that was the best um, sort of. Uh, bang for buck handling mod was that rear anti roll bar. I didn't expect much, um, but when you're on sort of tight and twisty corners, you can sort of adjust it through the corner, yeah. adjustable. So, yeah, that is. Um, I think that's really helped with the with it being the estate as well. I didn't think it would, but it really has. Being so much longer than yeah. the hatch which you would have come from, yeah, it's yeah. just so much extra car. <laughs> yeah, at yeah. The back. Possibly if I wanted to go more power, um, it would be an exhaust next, really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's some. Um, uh, for uh, an all-round daily car, it does the job yeah. I really wanted to do, really. No, it looks really smart, like I've said. Really, really smart. But I think for now, at least, that's going to wrap things up, even though we're having a lot of fun on these roads. <laughs> Wish I had these roads around, around where I am. 
amazing scenery but buddy thank you so much for uh for coming out uh well i say that i've come to you but thank you for taking <laughs> me to these roads because it's awesome fun no worries um, i'll pop your instagram down in the description down below if you guys so to go and check out but i think for now that is it i hope you guys have enjoyed if you have please make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures that will come <laughs>